Hello. Hello, my name is Christina Maxwell, and um, with the help of Andrew Maxwell and Adam Maxwell, my two sons, who are 13 and 10 right now, um, I'm able to do this little video, and um, I thank God for them, and I just wanted to share this with whoever um, needs to know that there is a hell, and there is a heaven, and there is a God, and um, I really need to put this out there. It's been on my heart for a while, and so for years, but um, I've been in the process of writing a book, not only about this, but other miracles that God has done in my life, and um, here we go. Well, um, I need to share with you that uh, in 2008, um, I was rushed to the hospital and um, by my husband because of severe stomach pains and um, I didn't know what was going on and felt like I was pushing out a baby and um, it turned out they did uh, I wasn't pregnant thank God um, because the pain was so severe and anyway uh, let's see they um, admitted me they did tests and um, they um, gave me morphine okay and um, for the pain and um, they were it turned out that I had irritable bowel syndrome um, but in the process of figuring this out um, they gave me this morphine drip and um, it was horrible I didn't know I was allergic to it they didn't know I was allergic to it and so um, I immediately stopped breathing and I told them anyway the nurse had to rush press a, a button and it notified the staff that uh, there I was there was a problem and so um, I stopped breathing and I was crying tears were coming out my eyes and um, I can just remember thinking I don't want to die and the nurse um, the other bunch of nurses came in and the nurse was saying breathe breathe and I couldn't breathe and so I stopped breathing and I immediately darkness just came upon I just remember blacking out and my body I left my body and I went immediately into this um, other place I left and was taken I felt like I was just really light I was taken to another place and um, I was in a holding cell and this holding cell I could hear all these screams and um, I could see uh, these big demons um, horrific figures um, one big one in the middle of this ca cave like place and there was like fire in the back I, I it wasn't like fire was like lava kind of and so anyway um, he was telling all the other demons where to go and sending them out and they were coming in with people people were just coming into this place and I remember saying, you know, um, Allah, you know, help me. And um, Jesus, in my mind, I couldn't speak, though. And it was so hot. And the screams were so loud. And these creatures all over the place, these demons all over the place, um, crawling on the ceilings. And there was just people coming in, though. That was just horrific. But the minute, when I, uh, right away when I said Jesus, then I started leaving out. I, I left out this portal type um, area, this opening in the cave, and I came out through a place that looked like um, Baton Rouge, Louisiana Street, and I came flying out um, my my body. Uh, I've entered my body, and I um, just started saying, "I don't want to go back. I don't want to go back." What happened is before that, I would um, still I was. Um, I used to be a Muslim, and um, I was seeking God. I would. I used to be a Seventh Day Adventist when I was a teenager, and as I went in my twenties, I met a woman who was very kind and took me under her wing, and she was my neighbor, and she was a Muslim, and so I studied with her, and she would call me her daughter, and she was a voodoo priestess as well. She was Muslim and had voodoo things, and her background was um, uh, just oh. Anyway, um, but so she took me under her wing and, and um, she was teaching me these things and teaching me to pray to Allah. And so I thought, oh, it has some of the 
the the Quran has the Old Testament in it and so Allah must be God's name and so anyway I ended up leaving the Muslim um, practice and um, I was seeking God and would go to Christian churches and so um, but the thing is is I was all mixed up and I would pray to Allah instead of uh, Father God Jehovah and I, I would um, I would say amen but I wouldn't I wasn't taught to say in Jesus name amen so anyway but when I said the name Jesus in hell that's it, what saved me you know it's what brought me out I know he would he, he pulled me out of there and so anyway what I when I came back there was these doctors working on me and there were nurses in there and they kept a nurse in my room all that night until the next day and then another nurse came in and stayed with me in the room because they wanted to get the morphine they had to um, uh, flush my body and they wanted to make sure I wouldn't die you know I wasn't gonna I wasn't gonna go anywhere and so um, she was scared and the doctor um, said that was a close call and you were gone there um, and the thing is I'm not quite sure how long I was gone but I just remember I, I didn't care <laughs> at the time I just was um, uh, grateful to be alive and to come back and he says uh, anyway and and I just remember him saying you know assigning the nurses to me and um, them staying with me uh, so around the clock so anyway it was a if, if anyone is um, wondering if there's many more ways to God than, um, through, than just through Jesus, it's not true. Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. And He's the only way to the Father, is through the Son. And I had to go through this and experience this. And um, some people may say, oh, you're on a morphine trip. No, I stopped breathing. I my I just I went into complete darkness and I was gone and um, they were the doctor even said you were you were gone and were you were not with us for a little while and we're glad you're back and um, I believe me I'm glad I'm back and that um, through Jesus is real and um, he's the only way so thank you for listening and believe me you don't want to be caught dead without Jesus and anyone who does not believe in the power of the Holy Spirit any church that does not believe in the power you need to run from them um, run and find believers who believe in Jesus Christ and those who um, have power love and a sound mind and through Jesus Christ I have a sound mind and I have been healed from many things and um, I've been delivered and set free and I just wanted to share this thank you my name is Christina Maxwell and I am blessed God bless you all